finish on the LPGA Tour. Yeah, and I tell you what, if she wins this week, she will be the third British player in the space of four weeks to win a tournament on the LPGA, which is an unbelievable stat. Feeding off each other's energy. And that's a little fade down the right-hand side. Catch the fairway. Quite as far as waiters. It'll be a three-shot Plenty off here at the Setter Golf Course. And Gemma hit an absolute peach in here yesterday. Oh, she hit some beautiful iron shots this week. I love the golf swing; it's so efficient. I'm just surprised she's never finished better than fifth on the LPGA Tour. Long, you are going to feature. You're going to be right in contention. Has it got the line? It was a bit of a wishy-washy stroke that one. Chasers can breathe a sigh of relief. Dryberg has the lead by one shot. This is a tricky shot. Down the hill. But you're right, she is swinging the club so well today. Everything's just coming off like an absolute bullet. Look at the this. Hole. Look at this. Is this not supposed to be the hardest hole on a golf course? And she takes full advantage of that exquisite hybrid in. And what we have now is Gemma Driver enjoying a two-shot advantage over... This looks to be all over it. And it was. A smart shot. She's just getting through the ball so well. It just looks like, you know, at impact, she's just in the perfect position every time. And you can see her, she's just holding that. Playing some tremendous golf. This is Gemma Driver's fifth year on tour. 30th in putting average on the LPGA Tour. Normally I'd give that to her, but we saw Lynn Grant miss a similar one just earlier. Right in the center of the cup. She continues to impress, and those family and friends that are up early in Scotland will be loving the look of this leaderboard. The fact that the expectation is probably a little bit less at the moment. You can see the players on the green ahead, so Gemma Driver just... Vote. And she's been excellent with her iron play. And there's another one that she looks like she likes, just maybe a tag left. Yeah, good for distance. One win she's got. It was uh, in the Oatlands Pro-Am on the ALPG. Oh, she is looking absolutely sensational, the Scotswoman. A very different look on the face from Momoko Oedo. Wonder what do I have to... Slight dog leg, left to right, this one. Plenty of room up the left. You can actually sort of hit it straight. But if you can just turn it a fraction, just a bit like that. That's a good sign. She's got a playing part. Time she's backed off anything today. I hope that doesn't. I don't think it is. I think it's bang, bang at the flag again. I think she loves it. Oh, another sensational shot. That control that she gets with the hybrids. I mean, what weapons they are, particularly in her as well. I really do add to just what a special event this is in Japan. What a special week it could be for Gemma Drybra. Oh, come on. Oh, beautiful putt. The Scot is in cruise control around the Setter Golf Course. It's now a three-shot lead that she has over Kana. Hold your line. Oh, simply there. beautiful. That's actually the perfect position. Going to shatter that scoring statistic at the bottom there. By a long way. <laughs> oh, the hole <laughs> is as big as a bucket. The Gemma Driver, who continues to put the foot down. <laughs> Three birdies in a row, no drop shots. She is in cruise control. again right in the bottleneck and I can tell you what Kate leading by three 
her second into 16. Yeah, not quite. Trying to lob this up in the air, get it to land soft. <laughs> oh, it's another peach. I've lost, I've lost words. I've, the superlatives just can't keep coming. I mean, she's just not hitting any. She's not actually giving the other players a look in. I mean, you can And to get to 20 under par, Drybra. <laughs> you can understand that. That was really, really quick down the hill. The last thing she wanted or needed to do was rush it four feet by. Well, that's what's so clever. She's doing everything she has to do. And obviously, you know, the relationship she has with her caddy, Paul Hesselden, she... Here is the leader. It was a tough tee shot here at 17. Not too bad. That's no, okay. Shot for her. This is absolutely what she knows. Ooh. Just get it going, bounce up. I think she loves it. Oh, oh, so go on. Just a go little on. heavy, but that's a good it's miss, isn't it? Absolutely. It's bang on line again. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. What about in? Oh. oh. It's an excellent try, but it's a bit of a knee knocker left. Broke a lot more than oh, I didn't it just. Thought. I thought she'd hit that way too far left. So you're rock solid. Come on, Gemma. One more really good putt. <laughs> oh, how good was that? That just. was probably her best stroke of the week, and she's made so many. Oh, that. Just like that. <laughs> That'll do. I was going to say one more deep breath. But she's in total control of her emotions today. It's been a stellar performance. Great swing, Jeff. Yeah, you heard a caddy Paul there say, great swing. So he said that all week long, really. Yeah, it's hard to... Marvellous shot, marvellous performance, it just mirrors. This goes in. Oh, never missing. Back-to-back -back 65s on the weekend for Gemma Drybra. And she is your 2022 Toto Japan Classic <laughs> Champion. Oh, what a truly wonderful moment. Of course she wasn't missing this girl. Oh, that's a wonderful moment. Oh, please let that be champagne. <laughs> Seriously. Nice moment, though, from the fellow players to congratulate her. That is fantastic. Gabby Lopez. Emma Tally there as well. Pauline Rousson. Caddies as well. Mikey Scott. That's going to be a very popular victory for Gemma Driver. A four-shot win in the end. 22 birdies and just two bogeys for the entire week. 20 under par and her first LPGA Tour victory.